Strawberry called out quickly, plunging the knife into my back before I stop. Good, make my escape. Then, ah, that, that stabbed me anyway. I got stabbed three times, so that's it. Welcome to Berry Witch, and once again, we're playing a horror theme visual novel. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. Where I grew up, the folklore surrounding our neighboring forest was always filled with such intrigue. Oh, what some of us would give to enter the endless maze of trees, bushes, and fox so thick it tricks your eyes. Not many children are allowed to go in by themselves, and many legends were heard help but deter us from the wood. One of the most prominent ones claimed that any living creature that found themselves lost within the forest was destined to die. This urban legend was only really used by parents to scare kids out of from going into the woods by their own. But Doug, there has been real reports of people going missing inside these woods, never to be seen again. Ooh, spooky. What drew the kid into these woods in the first place? The answer is surprisingly another urban legend, definitely not curiosity, but rumor has it that it is that a powerful witch lives deep, deep within the forest, hidden amongst the tree and wildlife. She is said to have the power to bring one's deepest desire to fruition. No, this is not even case. Even I will go in there. What kid wouldn't dream of endless riches, popularity, or success? What person, that is, your deepest desire were among promising? However, getting lost while trying to find a witch and scumbing to the forest are the legend. There's so many legends in this forest though, the thought was terrifying. As I grew up, my fear of these woods grew less and less. I am not afraid of what lies beyond this tree anymore. What lies beyond the dot, dot? There are many paths to avoid this fate, yet some seem to lead in circle or just bring you nowhere. It infuriating when you try to get one place. To get to one place only to be back when you started. Oh my god walking in circles, that rumor dot dot dot, it echoed in my mind as I wandered aimlessly for what seems to be hours. My legs were growing weak from the bumpy path I walk on. I am calm, I am fine, everything will be fine. Despite saying this thing to myself, I noticed my hand was shaking. I was lost deep, deep into the woods. Oh my god, damn this winding path, damn this roundabout path. I sat down. Uh, against a ne tree nearby, the cool, thick air felt almost refreshing as I sat there. Oh, over time, my eyes began to rest as well, and I comply with the demand. Demands. My vision slowly fade to black. We close our eye. Mimir. Hello, hello. Are you all right there? I heard a feminine voice calling me. Okay, a feminine voice. My eyes still closed. I feel a sharp pain in my head. A headache. My body fell in a different position from where I last left in. I could feel the cool grass beneath my head, but I don't remember lying down. I opened my eyes and my greet the mysterious voice. Oh, you're okay, thank goodness. I was trying to get worried. Yay. A girl with bright pink hair and even brighter, this position meet my gaze. Ooh, she was hovering over my body, kneeling next to me. Wow. What a nice way to woke up, man. Her smile felt warm and comforting. The emanated the smell of fresh baked bread and strawberries. Oh my god. The more I thought, the worse the pain in my head became. Oh, she smells strawberry now. Oh, I groan in pain, slowly getting the strength that to stand once more. Oh, careful there. Here, let me help you. No. Oh. The girl held onto my arm and supported me as I stood. My legs still ache and my head hurts. But nothing bad seems to happen to me. Right there. Right. There will be no chance for the silly legends being true. I look over her noticing her fancy attire. Oh, fancy strawberry attire though. What an odd girl. What is she doing out there for dressed like that? Dressed like, stra dressed like what? Strawberry? Hmm, I suppose I shouldn't judge her so harshly. Or you, uh, am I saying like she have a bad sense of taste? <laughs> her dress is cute. Okay, okay. Cool. And she did help me after all. Thank you, who are you? Oh, oh my, my name is Strawberry. How fitting. I run a bakery not so far from here. What's your name, friend? Oh my god. My name is Baba Man. My name is Baba Man. Nice to meet you, but did you say your name was Strawberry? Ah, <laughs> yeah. My name is Strawberry. 
because I am the strawberry witch, silly. <laughs> Regardless, it's nice to meet you, Baba. It's nice to meet you too, strawberry. Wait, did she, she just say witch? She didn't appear to be more spiritual kind. She more like riding broomstick, making potion, that kind of witch. This look very kind. She runs a bakery. Or perhaps she was a witch that I heard in legends all of those years ago. Might be. A golly, you look really worn out. Say, how about you come and rest in my bakery for a while? You must be thirsty. I can get you something lovely to drink on the house. Of course. Hmm. I know it's tempting. Say, sure, why not? But maybe it's sus, so I just say, I don't know, man. I don't know, girl. I don't know which. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Where, where I'm from, we don't really have witches. How can I trust you? Yes. Well said, bro. Well said, brother. Strawberry look a bit dejected from my answer. I almost felt bad, but it was good to be cautious regardless of how sweet someone seemed. Yes, stranger danger, bro. There was a part of her that was very alluring. Internally, my inner child has hoped she was a witch from the legend. However, I couldn't forget the other superstition of all those who have become lost in the forest are destined to die. Could this all be at some elaborate trick, I wonder? Ah. <sighs> I promise, I'm not like that horrible fairy tales. I'm a strawberry witch. My magical specialty is with anything strawberry related. Well, although I use my magical abilities to help my plants and make lovely sweet treats that inspire the world, uh, or just inspire parts of forest. Yeah. Now, I'm really not dangerous, harness. I'm trying to help, Bubba. Sus. I suppose she does have a point. She really does doesn't seem like a threat, if only a bit hard. I'll have to admit, a part of me was a tad disappointed that she wasn't the witch of the legend. Like, my man wanna die, bro. I suppose <laughs> that was I get for still believing in childish thing like that, huh? It's not really like I had anything better to do anyways. I came to forest for a reason. But a break from my journey wouldn't hurt. Yeah, every horror MC say that. Let's go, why not give it a try? Alright, thank you, I'll come with you, Mr. Miss Strawberry. Her eyes lit up at my response, it's almost as if she hadn't had a wheeling customer for a long time. Hey, oh thank you, thank you, thank you, I promise I, you won't regret it here, it's right this way. The witch it happily lead me through the winding path of the forest, it appeared as though she knew every tree, bush and rock like the back of her hand. <laughs> As she walked, one question lingered in my mind. Why would you build a bakery in a supposedly cursed forest? Clearly it must be bad for business. We should shop out where people are too scared to go. Yes, maybe she used e you know, e-hailing, you know? Now it's online, bro. <laughs> maybe that's where her witchy magic kicked in. Perhaps she has her own reason that I simply can't see yet. Yeah, she just an online e-commerce, bro. I tried to rationalize the answer to each question and kept invading my head. My thoughts kept me so preoccupied that I was frankly shocked to me when we had arrived at the location. Oh my god, this house is made of strawberry. What in the tarnation? What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, is this the, like the Jack and Jill? The house strawberry led me to appear to be made entirely of cake and did not expire with a sugary frosting on top of candy scented rooftop. It looked delectable and edible and delicious. The appearance would be any child's greatest dream, very creative, imaginative, child with particular sweet tooth that is. Was it real? It all felt like an entire different world. It was almost as if I had stepped foot into a fairy tale. Walking through fields of strawberry, bushes and closer to the house, I could see a sign that read The Strawberry Wish Bakery Ta-da! Here we are! <laughs> what do you think of the interior, Baba? It took me so long to affect my magic in order to make everything this cute Ooh, -ooh. Insane, bruh <sighs> It is very strange I'm sus It's so sus, bro This was just a plain freaky It seemed I skipped this QC and something about this whole situation wasn't sitting right in my stomach. Yes, Baba, be sus. Maybe this was all a bad dream. It would explain the fantastical setting. No, the pain in my legs and head solidified the fact that this wasn't a dream. This is sus in many ways, bro. That's what was really going in there. 
and what is a mogus it is very very strange i said it out loud most in response to the situation this made strawberry frown obviously she was hoping for a more pleasant answer <laughs> i am being an asshole bro <laughs> i don't feel bad <laughs> even she did work hard on all of this the strawberry witch gimmick was starting to freak me out yes you are mighty such strawberry if your name is such doubt in my head began surfacing about the trustworthiness of this girl <laughs> Uh, uh, that's okay. Everyone have different tastes, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah. But I like strawberries, though. I mean the fruit, not her. She tried to answer politely, but I could tell from her shaky voice. My word hurts her. I'm an ass. Here, regardless, regardless, you should rest inside. The wish guide me inside. The overpowering smell of sugar filled my nostril with every step closer. A warm brush of air brushed from my face upon entering the door of the bakery. The smell of freshly baked goods welcomed me further into the house. Let's go! It was obviously apparent that the strawberry team resonated. It's like the building as well, yes. I can literally see that. Every from the bright red to the chair and every rug was shaped in a strawberry pattern. Wow, very creative! <laughs> the wall separating the front counter from the seating area also made of strawberries. I didn't think they could grow vertically. Yes, now you know. Now I'm certain the way that they appear on the wall shouldn't be possible. Yes, it is. Frankly, I wasn't sure whether to be impressed or concerned about what I was getting myself into. Concern, Baba. <laughs> She's sus. I tell you, the hotter the girls, the sussier they are, bro. Croissant, cake, cookies, and more stock on the shelf. Many shapes and sizes, they all made my mouth watery. Mm mm. I need to eat some cake, bro. Surprisingly, not all of the big goods my host has displayed were made out of strawberries. Thank God they have. <laughs> she, she's scared about customers. It's good to have some variety, I suppose. Yes, it is. Can I get you something to drink? I quite recommend our strawberry milk. Oh, our, our, our strawberry lemonade. These are also the best. Ah, so much for variety. Only strawberry drinks? This girl was kind of wacky. <laughs> we were extreme teaming. Hmm. <laughs> you already know what I'm gonna pick. I don't want anything. Thank you very much. I, I don't want anything. Thanks. I suppose we could expect you to cause strawberry smile to fall. Huh? But wasn't the reason we came here in the first place to get you something to drink? A mysterious self proclaimed witch invites me to her house and offers me a drink, hoping for nothing in return. She may have appeared nice, but this was too sus. She was. You put something in the ring, whatever demise might be following me there was definitely not the way I wanted to go. My side was telling her. I could see her tense up slightly more with each passing second. I'm an ass, bro. <laughs> it's okay, Baba. You must not be thirsty. Why don't I take a seat and rest for a while? I just need to check something real quick. She said, <laughs> she said it before quickly, scurrying into the door in the corner of the room, which I can only assume led into the kitchen. I took a moment to observe the room a bit closer before sitting down and my gaze land on the spiral staircase in the corner of the room. Vine or strawberry wrapped themselves gently around the hand railing, ripe and fresh as all of the strawberries around. I look up curiously to see where the stair may lead. In the corner of my eye, I could spot what seems to be a bed. So she lived here as well. It's a bit odd to have the staircase to your room right in the middle of your bakery. I could hear her humming getting closer, she must almost be back by now. Waiting to avoid looking like a snoop, I took a seat. She joined me shortly after, sitting across me. Oh, she's so cute bro, and I'm an ass. Uh, are you sure you don't want anything, Baba? Anything at all? The potential of her poisoning drugging me, or oh, you do yours to a drink, really awake my thirst. Better to save than sorry. Yes, I'm sure, bruh, I don't want your your strawberry, bro. I'm allergic to strawberry. I'm just pretend to be allergic to strawberry. Uh, um, okay. Let me know if you change your mind, alright? I'm always here if you need anything, and I truly do mean anything at all. Us. She smiled at me, her voice sounded genuinely concerned. I was admittedly strange to feel someone so worried about me. I wasn't used to this feeling. <laughs> like AG, I wasn't sure if I trusted. Our conversation slowly melted into silence. I should probably think of something to say. 
integrator. Ah, oh, less BNS. Less integrator. Interrogate or something. So, what exactly do you do? Live all your all your own. Ah, <laughs> oh, one thing like another, and an opportunity came up. I couldn't refuse. You could feel the loneliness through her words alone. It was pitiful. It was lonely. She didn't exactly answer my question fully though. I was itching to know more. Truthfully, I don't like being by myself at all. It get really quiet out here. Haha. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> what opportunity? Hmm? What? Why is my bakery of course? What else would it be? Hmm, that's another thing I've been curious about. That's why exactly you choose to build a bakery here in the forest tax evasion much it doesn't seem like it attract many people especially with all of this rumor about the forest poor decision if you ask me my question came spilling out of my mouth along with my internal thought every time i, I hope to clear up some suspicion i always brought with more questions i'm an ass this question this time i want answers you don't know about the legend of this forest correct i would be shocking it would shock me if you don't know what? What legend? I don't know what you're talking about. Either you're a liar or just incredibly dumb dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> you're so mean bro. I didn't believe Strawberry for a second. How could she not know the rumors anyone who live anywhere near these woods hear about them in even passing joke? It's actually shocking for a safe proclaimed witch to not know about the urban legend about the witch who lives deep in the woods. Surely someone must have told her, right? I guess I would be the one that has to. There are many stories surrounding this forest, too many to count. However, there are two rumors I think you should know if you really insist on being ignorant. Strawberry said that suddenly as I continue to tell her the urban legend. First, the first one is about supposed witches that live in the deep of forest. Legend state she has the power to bring anyone deepest desire into reality. The wish I lit up for a second at the mention of story. So it was familiar to her. The second one said that anyone who became lost within this wood is destined to die. Which is me, I'm lost. <laughs> well, that's just silly. I've gotten lost in this wood plenty of time and I'm okay. You also got lost and here you are, still standing. Yeah, for now. Well, of course, I don't believe in that one. However, a lot of people do. It just seems suspicious that you haven't heard, but choose to build a bakery in here. Uh, I really haven't heard any of that. But the first one, I think that might be about me. <laughs> Although I'm not as like, good at granting wishes yet, I'm still learning. So it was her after all. I thought you might be. The conversation go awkwardly quiet once more. Hey Baba, I may not be very skilled at it yet, but I can grant small wishes. Your deeper desire within reason could come true. I guess what I'm trying to say is, what is that your heart most desire? I stood up from my seat almost immediately. I sincere hope you're still not trying to win me over. I've seen past your charade here, girl. Huh? I don't understand. Please, your smile is so fake that I can see it from miles away. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but whatever it is, it's not working on me, girl. No, no, there must have been some sort of misunderstanding. This was ridiculous, I didn't know why I even bother wasting my time here. Papa, please, I don't mean any harm. I even asked to grant you a wish. I don't understand. Why would I even trust someone as bra bra as you to grant my wish? You seem to be a pathetic excuse for a wish and you're the first one I've ever seen. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you're lying about being a wish or something about <laughs> to get something out of someone. You robber, you're like a type of person who only use others for her own benefit. I'm such an ass. Why do you even try? That is point, Strawberry. I hate liars and deceivers. Strawberry stood there shocked, no word from her wish to defend herself, huh? That's what I thought. You're nothing but a liar, Strawberry. I can't bear it. Cry, Strawberry. Cry now. Baba, excuse me for a moment. I need to something. She ran off quickly to the kitchen once more. Running from your problems, huh? You just... Just suck up. <laughs> this was so frustrating, and I and this dialogue is very savage, bro. I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> I bet she do something sus. As if I like girl with Ashley. Who knows what she could be plotting? Huh? <laughs> I know she's sus, bro. I got off my seat. 
quietly and follow her into the kitchen, making sure not to draw attention to myself. Hmm, what is she doing? The witch was running frantically from one drawer to another, investigating each cupboard with a certain sense of desperation. I knelt down behind the counter to avoid getting caught. What was she looking for? Huh? No, no, God, where is it? Where is it? Her voice rang throughout the room, shaken and broken. She, sh she sounded like she was crying. Her back was turned to me as she dug through one of the drawers, suddenly strawberry grabs. <gasps> As I took this moment to sneak closer to her while she was turned away from me, she was holding some sort of paper that was ripped out of her notebook. Reading only the first few sentences, I could tell what kind of note this was. From what I could see, it began with, My dear Strawbunnies, I am so sincere sorry for you to find me in such way. I never wanted it to come this way, but I just can't handle any more of this torture. Please forgive me when I die. I want my body to be useful to you all. Please consume my corpse in whatever way you can find most delicious. Perhaps a sweet cake? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I stopped reading after that part. What the hell is wrong with this woman? Have I really pushed her that far? That she would resort to this? No, clearly she was really unstable if she had uh, that note pre prepared. She turned much quicker than I thought she would. It caught us both off guard seeing each other. <gasps> eh? What? What are you doing here? Checking a bit, Strawberry held her note behind her back. It was a little too late to hide that. What What are you doing, huh? I didn't answer the previous question friendly. I was a little shocked at such turn of events. No, no. My straw bunny is seeing me. Like this, it's bad enough. Straw bunnies? She was mumbling to herself now. Neither of us had answered to each other question. Why are you still here? I know why you're here. I know why everyone really come to this forest. Just leave already. Get it over with somewhere I can see. I'm so tired of this. Her mum was turned into a loud, incoherent sob. It was hard figuring out what exactly she meant. Taking a step back, I tried to process what she was saying. Re the real reason I came into this forest. I, I tried to help you. I tried to help everyone. But I can't do it anymore. Nothing I, nothing I do even works. Nobody ever stays. More tears fell down her face as she backed herself against the drawer. Every time she tried to wipe her tears, Another wood replaced the second letter. I never seen someone shake this much. Until suddenly, the tears stopped. I was frozen in place. He looks off to the side with a dead expression. But hey, you said yourself, Baba. I'm a pathetic excuse of a witch. <laughs> so we laugh in an and unsettling smile creep up on her face. <laughs> I can at least fulfill my purpose one more time. I know what your heart truly desire, Baba. I didn't understand what she was saying until I realized she grabbed a knife on top of her drawer. My heart was, sky was skyrocketing. I quickly turned to run out of the kitchen. You're going to be delicious. Strawberry called out quickly, plunging the knife into my bag before I could make my escape. <laughs> my god, did I desire to die or something? <laughs> I don't desire to die. I could feel the blood pooling out of me as I screamed in pain. <laughs> What hurt even more was the second and third step that made me immediately. That, ah, that, that stabbed me anyway. I got stabbed three times, so that's it. I fell on the floor, feeling myself, giving all the pain. I slowly lost consciousness. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. Ah, <laughs> ah. What a glorious cake. Shame more people wouldn't be able to enjoy it, huh? Don't worry, Baba. I'll join you soon. <laughs> Ending 2 out of 5 breakdown 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 Oh my god Very epic I became a cake and she shall join us soon What does it mean? That's a lot of lore Note game How about instead of follow her we wait wait It wasn't worth going after I need to I need a peace and quiet for a while Anyways I slowly I sat back down the strawberry team chair A moment Turned out to be quite a long time. Approximately 20 minutes have come and gone, and still no sign of strawberry. Exhausted, I didn't realize how exhausting I was until this moment. Who knew that a chair that would normally be mildly uncomfortable could be so inviting? I suppose resting my eyes until she come back wouldn't hurt anyone. The slightest loud noise and I bolt out of here. I knew to still be on guard, but I need the rest desperately. Da dot. Da dot. A few squeaks slowly woke me up from my sleep. I opened my eyes to a truly peculiar sight. 
What the? W was I dreaming? A few very small creatures were nudging forward a delectable looking cake closer to me. They were like small bunnies but also strawberries. How odd. This is the straw bunnies man. Is this strawberry? Uh, are we eating her? Maybe the girl wasn't lying about being strawberry wish at least. I tried to reach out for the creature but they timidly took a few steps back after seeing me move even slightly. I retract my hand and drew my attention to the cake in the center topped with a delicious strawberry and excellent frosting. It was apparent this was one of a strawberry's cake. Perhaps this creature took pity on me for having to wait so long for the witch. I don't want their pity however. Their growling sound my stomach made were catching my attention. I must have been asleep for longer than I thought. I was already hungry. Fine. I sighed and took a slice of cake. The little strawberry bunnies has prepared for me. Mm. With no hesitation, I took a bite. Chewing the dessert in my mouth, I noticed something fell off. The texture, the consistency. This didn't taste like cake at all. What the hell is this? Observing this out of the cake should have been the first thing I did. God, how could I be so careless? Looking closer at what I eat and shook me to my core. This looked like grind up meat with frosting on top of it. I had to hold back the violent urge to vomit all over the table. All over the small strawberry creatures too. I had my fair share of stick, pork and whatnot. However, this is this nothing like that. This is strawberry, but human form. I did freak out and spit out or laugh on the cake. Blade. The strawberry bunnies look at me once. All at once, I had to get out of here right now. I pulled over the door before another thought crossed my mind. What the heck was that strawberry? You, What's this strawberry doing? Did my word really bring her to feed me? What the hell was that? The taste still linger on my tongue for how badly I wanted to take sandpaper and numb it to nothingness. It'd be much preferred to that horrible, horrible taste. I ran through the forest once more, just trying to get away from that bakery as soon as possible. Thinking about what that would have been made me feel sick, hatch over, I clutched my stomach desperately. Before I knew it, I was throwing up all over the dirt floor. God damn it, I was so weak. Every inch of my stomach felt like they was imploding. Da -da -da -da. Well, at least I made it out there before she could do something horrible to me. <sighs> I think it was finally time for me to do what I meant to do in this forest in the first place. What? Ending 3 out of 5, Cannibal Cake. We ate strawberry, bro. Oh my god, she Bruh. killed herself, bro. Damn, this is sad, bro. But we say this one. What will we say? Can you tell me about yourself? Be kind. Can you tell me about yourself? I have been curious to learn more about the witch. I feel like I've only gotten short tidbits of vague information thus far, so we get any twin. Huh, me? Honestly, I'm a bit more curious to learn about you. <laughs> there really isn't much for me, honestly. Ah, uh, that's not too sugar. I can tell you have a really sweet soul. I see in the glint of your eye, there's a sparkle in there unlike any other I've seen. Despite the fact I'm sure she was just saying that to be nice, I couldn't help but smile softly as the girl spoke. You you're too kind, truly. Just had just meet me but she was so nice to me i didn't understand why enough about that let me let's go back to you oh all right well let's see my hobbies were pretty obvious i love baking gardening with all my heart especially baking anything that has to do with strawberries <laughs> strawberries are your favorite food i'm guessing bruh obviously what no it's orange oh my what the heck this is <laughs> shocking no, no, no. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's she's pranking us, bro. What else? Although I'm the sorry wish. I was practicing a new kind of magic every day. Like recently I've been really interested in the magic of granting wishes. Huh? Just like the legend. Maybe she is the wish that I've heard after all. That's not all of it though. I'll admit it's a little strange, but I've been working on a magic that can bring things to life in a whole new way. Like reanimating the dead? Uh, um, it's actually a bit more embarrassing than that. Here, this is actually remind me I have presents for you. Excitement burst through her voice as she spoke, adroitly standing up from her seat. Wait right here, haha. <laughs> she ran off, leaving me alone, question what was happening. A present for me? But why? Once again, she had just met me. I didn't understand the reason for her kindness. Robbie came back with a small pink box wrapped in the green. Light green ribbon, plopping it down in front of me, she gave me an exciting smile. Go on, open it, it's for you. Hesitantly, I opened the gift box to reveal. 
This is a plushie. Ah, <laughs> no silly. This that is a strawberry. That's a mix of bunny and a strawberry. One of my recent creation with light magic. Oh my god. Thank god she doesn't make a dog and a little girl. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Eat it. Bro. There's only one option. Eat it. One and odd choice for a snack. Make a strawberry look like a bunny. It was certainly creative. I give her that. The texture seem much harder than a regular strawberry though. So probably it would be easier to eat in small pieces. <gasps> During a part of straw bunny, I know this straw bunny sm strawberry smiles fade. <gasps> I've sworn I heard some some sort of a high pitched squeak, but perhaps it's just imagination. I, I was quite hungry after all. The wish had an expression that I now used as complete discomfort and disgust after putting a small piece of the straw bunny in my mouth. But what? Where are you? The taste is quite exquisite, sweeter than absolutely anything I ever had before. Wow, strawberry, this is amazing. I spoke my praise, ever leave my mouth slightly full. Mm -mm -mm. Strawberry wasn't looking too well. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. <laughs> she quickly rushed out of the kitchen. I feel like I did something to cause her discomfort. I should follow her after just in case. <laughs> no, no, where is it? I saw Sarah frankly open every drawer and cupboard inside the kitchen looking for something desperate. Even open the massive size oven looking inside of it. <laughs> Yummy, why would, why would you be in the oven? I approached her closely as she continued her search. Strawberry, what's wrong? Stay, stay, stay back, please. Tears were streaming down her face. She looked as if she had witnessed a murder. I I'm not sure what I did, but I'm sorry. How, how could you do that to a living, breathing creature? I trusted you. I I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Strawberries are meant to be eaten. <gasps> the wish has suddenly become more blank. No more shock. Feels more appropriate here. It was just a snack, right? Honestly, they were delicious. You should consider selling those in your bakery. I never had anything more delectable in my life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was caught off guard. Me sent my strawberry grab the side of my arm. He was strong. Much, much stronger than I thought. She looked. Her grip was hurting me. Strawberry? Before I knew it, she began pushing me back into the corner. With one giant push, she threw me into her oven. The fire scorched my skin immediately, putting my body into a complete shock. I could smell my flesh burning off of me. Soon, I would be nothing but a burnt corpse. I struggled to get out of the oven, get out of the fire. Everything was so hot, so unbearably hot. Am I a monster? Who am I, bro? I screamed in escalating pain as the fire consumed me more and more. Slowly. Strawberry closed the oven while smiling like a crazy ass. Wicked witch. Bruh. Okay. Let's just ask her for a strawberry milk. Mmm. Sus. I'd like to bring her milk, bro. What? <sighs> My god, that sounds so wrong, bro. Strawberry milk. So yeah. Ah, can I have some strawberry milk? Honestly, so maybe I'll help some sort of nostalgia for me. I can quite remember the last time I had it though. But well, today is just as good as any other day to indulge any in an odd treat. Yes, of course. Go make yourself comfy, Baba. I'll be right back. The dead strawberry pranched into the kitchen, humming a soft tune as she left. Took a moment to observe her room a bit before sitting down. I guess land the spice track is the same. Same, same, same. Same, 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 same. same. Okay. Oh, here you go, you must be thirsty. It's, she said, setting down my drink of choice in front of me. I took a sip almost immediately. The cool, refreshing taste of strawberry milk immediately regenerated some of my last energy I had. Thank you, this was awfully kind of you. Ah, huh. uh, don't mention it. I live to serve. Thank you, strawberry. You're the G. She laughed medically, saying that live to serve a bit almost goofy or fancy voice. I live to bit to serve, my dear. Just please let me know if you need anything, okay, Baba? Anything at all? She smiled at me, her voice sounded genuinely concerned. I was really nice to feel someone so worried about me. I wasn't used to the feeling. Our conversation slowly melted into silence. I should probably think of something to say. Can you tell me about yourself? Same? Ah. Oh. Now we can accept gift instead of eat it. Only eat it though. Accept the gift. Let's go. Ah, uh, hi little buddy. 
I smell warmly and pet strawberry straw bunny hat with one finger. She's so it's so small. Wow wow wow. <laughs> they are awfully adorable, huh? Thank you, Strawberry. I'll take good care of them. Strawberry look happier. You ever have to see me and her straw bunny getting along. You better take good care of them, Baba. I'm trusting you. Ah, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> uh, they like you so much already. The tiny straw bunny curled up nicely within my hand, making themselves comfortable. They were so tiny, I was afraid of accidentally crushing or hurting them. Eh, <laughs> Baba, this is a little unrelated, but hypothetically, if you could wish for anything, what could you wish for? I froze for a moment. My wish? My greatest desire? It's, it's something I can only accomplish on my own. I wouldn't ask for that. Yes! Nothing come free. You need to know that. He heard it like the expression fell. The disappointment in her, in her eyes was immeasurable. I'm sorry, I really should get going. Here, I really appreciate it, but you should probably keep this little buddy here too. Wow, wow, wow. The strawberry clung onto my thumb, but I managed to pry them off and set them on the table. A sad smile arose from my face. I was going to miss both of them, and I knew I shouldn't stay. Wait, it's dangerous out in the woods at this time. Why not stay for a night? I have an extra... I cut her off before she could finish speaking. No, really, I need to go. I have something I came here to do. I am awfully sorry, Strawberry. I need to go. Ah, uh, please don't go. I. Thank you again for everything, Strawberry. Goodbye. I got out of my seat and made my way to the exit. When suddenly I felt something hard hit me right in the back of the head, knocking me out instantly. <laughs> what? Ugh, why is it always pain in my head? Double kill. Waking myself up, I noticed. I wasn't in the bakery anymore, I was looking right in the bed in a room covered with strawberry themed furniture and wallpaper. Despite not being inside of the bakery, this room smelled greatly fresh baked bread and strawberry. My god, obviously the house is strawberry too. This had to be strawberry's room. No doubt, my whose other room is there? Only strawberry's room. <laughs> Even more alarming, however, was the lush vine were wrapped tightly around my entire body. Wines with strawberry. Oh my gosh, she seemed to be dead, Amber. What the hell is going on here? Why would strawberry do this to me? God damn it. That was I was getting for trusting a stranger. Yes. She, she Was she going to kill me? Or she used me for some weird magic stuff I didn't understand. All I knew was I had to escape and hide to get out of here before she came back up to get me. I struggled against the veins, only barely managed to pry one of the hands of the fruit smash great. Grabs, 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 ah, uh, yeah, and when I heard a familiar sound coming from the stair. <gasps> ah, wah, wah, wah. Little buddy! I whispered as they waddled up closer to where I was tied up. Any chance you could help me out of this? The tiny strawberry looked around from side to side, observing the room. I watched them as they hop, hop up into the nightstand I used their tiny hands to push off for a basket. The crash of the basket wasn't loud, thankfully. The item caught my attention and within my reach of my free hand. I only had time to use one. I have to think fast. Let's re <laughs> What? If we want to escape, definitely we use gardening shears. The gardening shears were the obvious choice for my escape. I grabbed them without hesitating and start cutting each vein until I could warm my way out. Let's go. Whoa. Shh. Come on, little buddy. Without thinking, I scooped the straw bunny into my arm and carefully stuck out a spider staircase. With each step, I feared more what could have happened if I caught. I, I still didn't know where Strawberry had knocked me out. She could be planning anything, yes. I'm sure as hell wasn't going to stick around to see what she had planned. Creeping down into the main bakery, a million thoughts of panic rushed through my mind. In a distance, I could hear soft humming of my captor. It appeared to be coming from the kitchen. I tiptoed through the bakery to the door. My heart beat, my heart beat increasing in speed. <laughs> I froze in place upon opening the door, forgetting that these type of stores have bell attached to the door. The humming in the distance stopped in an instant. I didn't have time to be careful anymore. I bolt through the door and ran into the woods. <sighs> Running through the field of strawberries, I quickly glanced behind me for a moment. The sight I saw was slightly less than pleasant. Oh my god. <coughs> Those eyes of her, they look unlike anything I've seen before. She looked like a true monster. Baba, you can hide. Baba. 
<laughs> my god, she's great, great and hot. Chase after me as I ran through the trees. I tried to lose her within the winding path of the forest. I clung to strawberries for dear life. The sweet amulet from my palm didn't help, however. Oh, oh. Straw Barney cries out, losing grip on my hand himself. The poor creature managed to slip out of my hand, rolling far, far behind me into the bush. I stopped for a moment to try and recollect them, but I feel close through my vein and a poor footstep getting closer and closer. How was she so insanely fast? It was terrifying. I'd been chased by someone with abilities I didn't even understand. I'm so sorry, little buddy. I wish to be for running, my life depending on it. My life did depend on it. My legs were still sore from earlier, but I had to push through. I couldn't let her catch me. Not like this. At one point, I ran so much I was certainly I had lost her. I looked behind me once more to be sure. I felt relief for a moment, but the relief was short-lived. As I fell, my feet stumbled over a rock. Oh my god, the typical MC horror falling down, immediately knocking me unconscious. Oh my god. I slammed my head against the dirt path. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Hello, hello, are you alright there? Ending 4 or 5, the loop. Insaner. So we, we go back to where we started. In, I assume the last one is the strawberry diary. I grabbed into the diary without thinking something in my gut told me that there will be some sort of information, some sort of answer, something at all that will help me make sense of all this. With my single hand, I've been flipping through the pages. Strawberry's diary. <laughs> my god, escaping with the diary instead of day one. I finally did it. I proved myself enough with my magic to be sent on a special mission. They told me that I'm finally ready to fulfill my purpose. i finally ready to make a good impact to the world. I bring this diary with me to fill out all my fun adventures. Apparently, I'm being sent to some sort of pocket dimension. Is it? It'll be just for me for a while, but I know how to garden and bake, so at least food won't be an issue. I asked them what's the purpose of the pocket dimension was, and they said that people with great desire often find themselves lost in the forest with this. They sent me here, and my job is to help them fulfill their true desire. I'm not sure how good I'll be at fulfilling desire. I'm just a stubborn witch after all. But I won't let anyone down. I want to fulfill my purpose no matter what. I bring a few books about which grand thing to study up on. I could really use any help I can get. I'm sure I'll find some way to help others, right? A5. I actually love my little bakery. So far no one has come yet. But I search every edge of this pocket world, just in case it's pretty open. I'll admit I'll get a little anxious out here all by myself. I really hope that these people desire sweet treats. <laughs> they never did tell me what supposed to happen after I help the people. I guess they'll just wander back into the forest and find their way out? I don't know. I'm sure I'll update this more if I find the answer. Day 16. Someone finally came, a girl, a kind pretty girl. She and I talked in my bakery for a while and I gave her absolutely every treat that her heart desired. I was so lovely talking to another person after such a long, long time. I really going to miss her. She went back into the woods just now. I offered to let her stay longer, but she, she couldn't. She looked desperate and dis despondent. There was a com complicated look in her eyes, but I don't can't understand. I hope I helped her. I did everything correctly, right? Day 17. Oh my god. Oh my god. The girl, she... Why? I found her by the lake. She had... Oh god. She drowned. She's not alive anymore. Here one moment turned to absolutely nothing but an empty shell the next. What? What do I do? They didn't prepare me for this. Day 20. I'm starting to feel a little bit better after all of this. I'm sure it was an accident, right? I did everything I could. I just need to look forward. Tomorrow's another day. And I'm going to help many people. I still hear the good voice sometimes. I only talk to her once, but I miss her dearly. What happens if I can't help anyone? It's my job. My true purpose. I'm supposed to help these people fulfill their desire. I just have to keep trying. Day 42. Why? Why does this cat keep happening? I'm really starting to freak out. Three new people that have come and gone. None of them stayed for long. All of them. I found all of them. All of their bodies decaying in different places, in different ways. One of them stabbed himself so many times, it felt impossible to count. The stench of blood sank so much into the dirt. I still can smell it sometimes, walking past that area. Beside the girl in the lake, I met another girl, equally kind, but I found her body covered in so many cuts and scars. She bled out far before I had a chance to get to her. The other hung themselves, 
I still remember seeing their silhouette through the trees. It was a horrifying sight. Even more disturbing was how their bodies swung side to side with each gentle breeze. There's no one else out there. This wasn't just any mistake. This was on purpose. I'm gonna throw up. Someone scam her into this? I haven't been able to help anyone, not a single person. It's all end the same way no matter what I do or what I give them. The people always have to leave. They always. It's pocket dimension. They sent me to, to a suicide Bruh. mode. So I came near the forest to do to do Sudoku or something. Oh my god, I see the S word in YouTube. Ah no! <laughs> Everyone gets to die is to die. I found the most recent customers Sudoku note to prove it. They say exactly how they all wanted in this world was to to end. I see so that's why she she stabbed us a lot and also she got influenced to make herself into a cake. Oh my god. This is so sad just bro. I work on trying to practice magic outside my expertise. I haven't had any luck yet, but I'm getting desperate. Something, anything to make them stay, anything to keep them alive and out of the forest. Day 136. Is it, is it all my fault? I could try harder and harder to make this stay more appealing to them. To make being alive more attractive, even just one more day. Nothing works. Am I destined to be a failure of a witch? I kept studying, studying up more and more on witch, witch granting. However, it's so difficult to get clear grabs on. This is nothing like growing strawberries. It's so lonely out here in the forest. I started making small creatures just to have someone to talk to, but I won't find gone in the following days. I tried to make bunnies, but magic is still. I just have to keep trying. Day? Question mark. I'm so tired. I've lost track all the days. It's been so long since I have even wrote it here. For a while, I couldn't bear to even leave my bakery. I was terrified of something horrible happening, scared of seeing something terrible. I feel terrified every day of waking up and seeing someone new. Some I care about gone from this world. Is it true that every person that stepped foot in this bakery I care about? I keep thinking that maybe it's just I just try harder. If I'm nicer, I give it anything you want. Possibly things will be different. Maybe they'll stay. But maybe I'm just being selfish here. Do I want them to stay because I want them to stay alive? Or you want them to stay because of lonely desperation? I haven't been able to save a single person. I don't even think I'm a good person and anymore myself. Oh my god, I am pity of her, bro. If I was a good person, things would be different. I would be able to prevent all of this, but I can't. I can't do anything, right? I feel so out of my control. My mental state is worsening day by day. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I'm getting desperate. The page after it was ripped out. I closed the book. I had read enough. So that's why I'm in mean, this predicament. Some relief overcame me as I realized she wasn't out for blood. It seemed like the exact opposite. She was trying to prevent another death. Even if her method of doing were flawed. Oh my god. My deepest desire, my reason of coming here. She was right. <gasps> Despite what I, what I may have said in the past, I got lost in the forest on purpose. I had full intention of ending my life from the moment I stepped into this pocket dimension. I've always clung into the superstitious subconsciously. It was always brought me back to childhood, back in the time when things were easier. You were so agey, bro. But you go to the forest to come to you found a waifu. Very epic. Now everything was a mess. Everything felt so hopeless, so out of my control. The way words in the diary resonate in me deeply. Dot dot. I can't put her through, through this again, no matter what I felt about my worthless life. <laughs> she doesn't deserve to see another corpse. I just put her book now, and the second I heard Hami coming from the spider staircase, Strawberry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh you're awake, Strawberry. You're here too. I am. Golly, I'm awfully sorry about all this. I just kind find of panic, and um. Well, I didn't want to you to get hurt out there, so I uh. I didn't really think this through. Strawberry, it's okay. Do you think you can do these fines? Well, I, wouldn't, I would really love to do that for you, Baba, but I can't reach you living into the forest. Please understand, it's not safe out there. I have no intention of going into the forest. <gasps> Probably look a bit taken aback from my response. Huh? But I thought you... Forgive me, but I read your diary while you were gone. Huh? I've been through... I, you've been truly kind to me, Strawberry, but you have done nothing to show kindness to others. But the world has... The world has only shut you out. I know how that feels. 
So we looked down at the floor as I spoke. You're, you've forgotten how to be kind to yourself though. Other people's life aren't your responsibility and I hate those a-holes who put you here knowing this would happen to you. Why are you saying this to me? I should be saying this to you. You came here in the forest for a reason. But you've done nothing but to be kind to me and Strawbani. You've been trying to comfort me now when I, I, I did horrible things to you. No, I did more horrible things to you. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it started to cheer up. You're, you're so much kind than you ever know. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of this. I may not know how much that much about you, but whatever happened in your life to bring you to this place, I'm so sorry. I sh sorry for making you stay. Tori so lifted her hand as she did the vine reattached, retracted, and left me loose from their grip. I stood up and pulled Strawberry into a tight hug. Oh, let's go! We got a witch wife we're even better than a normal wife, bro. We know it's the last time I had offers had one, but we both needed one. A hug. I, I let me hug you. <laughs> oh, which will hug? Yes. I feel her shaking, hugging me by crying into my shoulders. I'm not going anywhere. I think. I think I like to stay here for a while. That's okay. Yes. No, no. I shouldn't force you to. You're not forcing me to. I want to. It's understandable though. If you rather I not. <gasps> no. I mean, um, no, really. I would love to have you stay as long as you desire. If that is um, what's your desire? I smiled and put her away from a hug, strawberry slowly coming down and wiping tears from her face. Now let's sleep here together and we can make a farm <laughs> beside strawberry. We can plant other, other fruit, man. What I desire? I think what I desire now is company. It's company of for someone like strawberry, someone who understands maybe bit by bit things could get better for the both of us. At least for now, we wouldn't have to be alone. Haha, <laughs> Baba. You're, you're going to eat all of our decorations. That's been quite well, Sam. So move with strawberry. Yay, and straw bunnies. I can't say remember how long though. Since doing so, I've noticed a moody greatly improved. My god, we are lovey dovey, bro. Let's go. The best wife ever, bro. She can cook, bro. She's a witch, bro. Yes, yo. Oh, that's so good, bro. It taught me how to bake and garden. She, she. You even you guys have been gardening? Oh, I'm so jealous, bruh. Uh, I taught her about hot law and superstition of different culture. Yes, sharing knowledge. Ugh. I've been watching her magic blossom and improve. She can grant small wishes with ease now. Wow, epic. We have seen people come and go through the bakery. Some of them didn't have the happiest of ending. But we keep trying. So already at least it doesn't have to carry the burden alone. And she's doing a better job not taking responsibility for it either. Hey, people do come in the forest to end, 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 end the story, but at least she's not alone. She have us. She have us. Let's go. She had hopes that one day things will be different. I'll admit, her optimism was really rubbed off on me. Hello, Earth to Baba. You're dozing off again. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Well, hey, if you're not that worried about me eating too much strawberries, then you should stop going such tasty ones. He laughed. <laughs> Her sweet melodically laugh. I'm, I, I'm glad you like them. Just make sure we have enough to decorate all of the cakes, okay? Alright, I suppose so. Life wasn't going to get any easier. I still think about how Arjuna came here from time to time. But slowly, I think things will be okay. Definitely, things will be okay, bro. It is self-sustaining. You got food? You got a waifu? You, you, you're alive. Yay, that's it. You don't need money here. You just got everything, bro. This is being chilling, bro. This is heaven. This will be okay for both of us. Ending 5 or 5. The good ending. And that's how it is. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and stop. Also, if you like the story, make sure to check out this game also. Made by the same creator. Alright, thank you for watching. And peace.